go down under because we still have some silly season news for Australia. Yes. For the V8 Supercars, the Repco Supercars Championship. Now, of course, they recently had their Sydney round, uh, not last weekend, the weekend before. Um, and now we have to wait a month for their racing. They're not on a summer break or anything. <laughs> it's a summer That's break just how week. their calendar works, unfortunately, one every month. But uh, it's anything but summer, by the way, because they're going to True. very, very cold Tasmania. Um, yeah. But recent news, of course, right after I post our predictions video yeah we uh we get some news that grove racing has officially decided to part ways with richie stanaway at the end of the season who i originally believed had a multi-year contract it did um so, so once again that's con interesting. contracts mean nothing exactly and i'm not surprised based off his performance compared to matt payne this year yeah. uh richie had a great start to the year p4 at bathurst um but it since then he's just sort of fell back a bit unfortunately yeah he's had a bit he's got a bit of a historic background mm. with uh the supercars both good and bad absolutely um so yeah look he got he got his shot to come back and unfortunately hasn't made the most of it uh so yeah he but, just hasn't had luck with um i also just think that like he's not been too bad but i just think there's better options and speaking of options well yeah very good good option um it looks like they've stolen a driver technically um Kai Allen, Kai Super Allen. 2, reigning Super 2 champ, and he looks is. to set to get another championship under his belt. Well, I think, look, it's a, if they do pull this off, and mm. this is just rumors, obviously he's racing for DJR in the upcoming uh, Enduro series. Mm. But then I don't think that DJR are in a position to move on from their current drivers. You reckon they'll stay the same for next year? I think they'll stay the same. Mm. There's, there's two, I think we'll, we will definitely stay. Will mm. Davison. Look, question mark over Anton Di Pasquale. Mm. But I think they're just going to leave it. I mean, it does sort of work. Like they were actually, I think they both got fifth and sixth and fourth and fifth last weekend. The, the problem is when they've been bad, mm. they've been bad as a team. Mm. When they've been good, they've been good as a team. Mm. In it's fairness, not like there's one up and one down. Yeah, in, in fairness, Anton has had some prangs and some failures. Yeah, as well. So that, it, it is a bit tricky. But no, I, I see your point. Um, Let's be honest, DJ, I don't really like change. No, especially the livery, exactly, which hasn't changed for <laughs> ten years. Um, so I think they're gonna leave it. Well, I could, could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, the thing is, maybe Zach Best. I was originally thinking that, but now he is going to Germany. Um, I think this week or something like that to test a yeah. EMA Porsche. Um, so maybe he might race, uh, you know, with the Shahins or something uh, in the 2025 season. So he probably won't be available for supercars. Uh, I don't know. Depends on the calendar, which we'll, we, we will get into, by the way, before we wrap up the show up. Yep. Um, so it's going to be very interesting because, of course, Zach Bess has, has been announced as a V8 Ute driver for Bathurst. Um, with uh, Southern Cross Truck Rentals, who also own Triple Eight now, or a part of it, um, wow. which is maybe their link could be there as well. Maybe he could team up with uh, Craig Glowns next year in the wild cards. Who knows? Anything can happen in the world of racing. Anything's possible, especially Triple Eight. <laughs> exactly. And uh, well, who knows? Like I said, they've now got bought out. They who knows if they might have a name change or something like that. Uh, Brody Kostecki could well and truly go there. Uh, if they whip up a third car, because they've got one lying around. Um, but uh, I reckon he'll most likely replace Tim Slade um, at Nulon Racing. It just makes a lot more sense. Plus, there is a connection there, a link with Triple Eight, because, of course, I think 20... They actually got their cars built in-house at Triple Eight, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. So, you know, he might be able to go there if he wants to, unless there's some NASCAR deal that magically appears. Um if he's back, back to best friends with Peter Adderton again, who knows? But um, it's going to be very interesting for sure because um, obviously Kai Allen was originally my DJR pick. It was just going to be uh, Will Davison and Kai Allen. But now that's just thrown it's spanners good, in the works. It still could be the case, and then maybe Deeper Squally goes to the Grove. Who exactly. Knows? Anything can happen, literally. And uh, you still got uh, a chance. Oh, yeah. And well, in saying that as well, James Courtney announced his retirement accidentally. Apparently, he didn't actually mean to retire. Um, <laughs> so that also, who knows what happens there? Because he did say if there's another opportunity that comes, he will probably might take it or consider taking it. So um, and everyone's saying all these old blokes should give up and give someone else a chance. But the thing is, if they're doing like Will Davison, pole position, 
in Townsville. I think. Uh, the, sorry, Sydney. I think the I think the first retiree will, will be James and uh, Mark Winterbottom. I re- I reckon because I was going to say everyone keeps saying uh, Mark Winterbottom to because I think he's a free agent at the end of the year too. Um, he might just disappear. See, James Courtney wants to disappear quietly. Um, apparently, no, he wants to disappear and do real estate in Queensland. Exactly, but he doesn't want like a big. <laughs> He doesn't want like a big announcement sort of thing. Sure. Because when he was like this, I just want to, I just want to go quietly. And then he's like, I've accidentally done the exact opposite of what he wanted. So there you go. But uh, yeah, I think James Mark Winterbottom will want like a send off year. I think James is working out that um, anything you say will get uh, exactly blown out of proportion. But I can see maybe Frosty having one more year next year as as his um final year, maybe like a sign off. Will it be in Tim Eddie? No. That's a good question. Very good question, but to I'm be honest, sure I don't know where else he would go. My point, that's yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah. BJR, they're going to stay oh, the same. I God. doubt they will change. Because um, even though I wish Declan Fraser maybe could take forward spot, but that sponsorship money um, supports Look, the team quite a lot. Let's, so let's be honest; it would be logical mm. if uh, Declan Fraser replaced Jones. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But they're not logical. No, because for context, guys, Macaulay Jones is the son of Brad Jones, the owner. Um, he's a Lance Stroll of Supercars. Exactly. But he, <laughs> at least he's actually friendlier to talk to and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I doubt I doubt he will go to another team at all. And I doubt he will be kicked out of that team anytime soon. Um, I just, personally, I don't like the four-car method, though. Uh, the formula that they're running. It's just not working, obviously. Um, but they're more about like a family team though at the same time i think they got to look in tickford's um ways i guess you could say steps okay sure yeah but you know what i mean like they yeah, yeah. had a four car team it was messy it wasn't mm. working great mm. and now they're a two car team and they're doing well the results are pretty similar but well since um i think townsville like they've finally true um true. been pretty pretty good yeah um, pretty quick they had a front row lockout in sydney as well um yeah but i think they got to look and i'm sure brad jones just keeps going to the bank every weekend shit probably but to get a loan for more damage realistically he should drop down to two but i don't see that happening anytime soon no now i thought we'd um do something a bit different um given how we're mid-year now um i i as a Starting to be set onto 2025, and uh, we've come up with a, provi- a provisional supercars calendar for next year. Um, yes. Now, originally, this was sent from one of our viewers, Bryce, um, who he got it from a Facebook group. Uh, I did do some little minor change, only a minor change. Um, but uh, Alex, shall we get cracking? Well, for starters, this is more than 12 rounds. Wow. More than twelve. Unbelievable, I know, right? Unreal. Which means it's one. It's more. That means they're going to fit it in. They can't do one per month. They got to somehow fit it in. Wow. If they can cope, I do it again. But uh, starting <laughs> off, <laughs> uh, starting off, you can barely cope with this. Uh, starting off with round one. Uh, this, in my opinion, makes the logical sense because yeah, me too. New South Wales, I think, has a contract with Supercars to host round one. Still, uh, that's why they went to Bathurst this year because Newcastle fell through. Um, by their own fault, um, but that's besides the point. But uh, Sydney Most Sport Park, the Super Night, uh, to host uh, the r- opener for 25, makes a lot more sense because it's summer. Um, yes, it's daylight saving, but there's no footy on, um, so they will have prime TV. Uh, and also their intros that they had the Saturday night, the NASCAR style intros when they um, made it all epic and had all the drivers come up, makes a lot more sense to do it at the start of the season than the mid year. Good point. Um, so that's my logical thinking. Plus, a lot of good points, here, Daniel. Exactly. Plus the crowd, um, because of how cold and windy it was last True. time. Yep. Uh, not many people went. Whereas this time, I reckon it'd be a lot better. Um, they have the capacity to have a bigger crowd. Exactly. So now it makes sense. It's now. not the most amazing track. No. But it's just a spectacle of a, like an event. Create, make it epic. You know, with the wow. under the lights, two yeah. two night races. Yes. Um, no, I'm f- I'm all for it. Yeah, go no, for it. Go for uh, it. Second round will be the Australian Grand Prix, which that's already been locked in um, yeah, that fine. time already. Um, sprint format, I reckon they should keep that as it is. Yeah, the four races are um, pretty cool. Was, yeah, I was. We, remember, we kept saying it's going to be second, awful. Yeah, we thought it was going to be dreadful. <laughs> and then it was epic. 
with no pit stops, exactly. but it ended up being incredible. I think I think the, 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 the you got to give the credit to the drivers for that. Like, yeah, on the world stage, yeah, they made that awesome. They put on a show, that's for sure. Uh, and then Topor will be round three. Now that's already locked in for the April eleventh to thirteenth. Yep, two days prior to my birthday. Um, and uh, they could maybe do a double header where they go to Highlands or something. Um, just a it New would, Zealand double header. It makes... would be cool to do two New Zealand rounds, but I don't mm. think they can do that. That's what I mean. I haven't included it in here, but it would be cool to see. Um, round four, I reckon Tasmania, because um, as we're heading into winter, we're heading into the Tasmania round. It's going to be utterly cold. If you've ever been to Tasmania, you would know what I'm on about. Well, it's usually cold when they race normally, which is round exactly. two. And that's why Canberra failed all those years ago. Was it? Um, yeah. You know, that Canberra street circuit that they that had? That was cool. That was really cool, but it was literally cool. That's why no one wanted to do it Fair because enough. of how cold it was. And um, just tickets weren't just didn't work out. Um, it's a real shame. Now, unfortunately, that's where Tasmania might end up being um, if they they're keep not, it that way. Not careful, yeah. Because um, you back in the day, it used to be round three after the Grand Prix all the time. Yes. Or it used to be round two, technically, because um, it didn't class as a championship yes, round. Yes, yes. So it makes more sense doing that. Plus, I quite like the track. It's, it's really cool and special. Um, round five, they go to Perth. Um, and then they go that's to... That's going to be the new street circuit. Not yet. No, it'll no? be Barber Gallows. 2026 uh, will be the street apologies. circuit. Yes. But if they do that, I hope they still go to Barber Gallo, do two races in Perth. Yeah. Um, because I quite like Barber Gallo as a track. So hopefully, you know, they can keep that lying around. Um, I do like your thinking though. Good work. Um, Darwin, the triple crown. Hopefully it's a three uh, um two sprint races with a long one on the Sunday. Three races at triple crown. Makes sense. Last year, this year they had two races. Yeah, but the triple crown isn't based off the races. It's based off quali and then the two races, isn't it? Like the result, like uh, yeah, something like that. You got to qualify pole, then win both races. Do you like that way, or you prefer the three races? To be honest, I didn't know it even existed until Scott McLaughlin won it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so no, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and then they go to Townsville. Um, now this is basically the same thing as what Bryce sent us, pretty much. Uh, Townsville, then Queensland Raceway. You might as well stay in Queensland while you're at it. Um, and then they go to Wington, which I wish, I hope they do return to, which yeah, from the sounds track. of it, it sounds like they are. Um, by the way, they haven't released anything really like at all yet about the calendar. They probably won't until we reach Gold Coast in October. Yeah. That's um, usually when they do it. Mm, but, uh, it's always good to talk about it now. Uh, and then they go to South Australia for the tail and bend, the bend 500, the first of the enduro will have a three round enduro event so we're back to enduro cup like the good yep. old days so starting off with the bend 500 then they go to the sandown 500 and then finishing off with the bathurst 1000 for the enduro cup um and then pretty much the same as the last couple of years gold coast will be the solo rounds again and then finishing off the season at adelaide which of course they've got like i think they're locked into 28 or something like that yeah it's a um while. but uh what do you reckon alex any uh anything you would add or remove or the only thing I wish they had back was the Gold Coast round was an injury. I do like that because that, that's it when they had the international so drivers cool. too. But not even that. It was just like, the international drivers lacklustered mm. over the years. Mm. But just the opportunity to have non-drivers race around such a difficult track. Well, they don't it normally just, get to race street circuits. It just they? it just made it mm. it made it so much more different. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. No. It was just there was possibilities of big drama i get what i don't you, know what i'm trying to say no, you know what I mean. it'll be more exciting than the bend i reckon in terms oh, of injury wise but um sorry <laughs> well the thing is gold coast um um the racing at the the bend is isn't is, is it, well it's not street circuit that's the thing well it makes sense to have an enduro there i do agree especially yeah. with the the facilities yeah. and everything great and the track is great but supercars around there don't really, besides turn th uh, four, I think it is, there's not that much going on. Mm. You know what I mean? It can be hit and miss, i got to admit. It can um, be. It can be. And I think the the first lap at that race was going to be great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It does look amazing. But it's going to be a long race. Yeah. I guess we'll, long, wait. Long we'll wait. We'll wait and see. But uh, no, I would love to see them go back to the Gold Coast as an enduro, of course. Since they haven't done it since the COVID period when the COVID hit. Mm. Um, I think 2019 was the last one. We saw some pretty cool racing there at that time. But um, yeah, look, 
it's going to be very interesting for sure, but uh, that's next year. 